Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back in the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day, and everything's going well for you guys. Today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how you can build DeMar DeRozan here in NBA 2K21, guys. So he just got traded today, actually, which was really, really crazy. Like, I didn't think he got traded to the Bulls, and I didn't expect that at all. Which I mean, like, good for him. That team might be a little bit crazy with Lonzo. They got Lonzo Levine. They're gonna have DeMar. They'll have Patrick Williams. They'll have Vucevic. They'll have Kobe White. You know, that team might be decent. Like, it just I really wonder how it's all gonna mesh together. Like, I don't know whose team it's going to be if it's going to be Demar's team or Levine's team or Lonzo's team I don't know it's going to be interesting and they got Caruso too which is even it's just even more surprising but guys I'm making this build a small forward right handed number 10 I'm going to make this build 6'6 220 I'm going to go with a 7 foot wingspan and define for this body shape now I'm going to kind of make this like prime rose and I'm maxing off the driving dunk I'm getting him standing dunk and post control as well um, I feel like this build you should really be getting 17 finishing badges at least I would definitely give this build some shooting badges as well now I honestly feel like the Rosen's kind of underrated like to be truthful I feel like a lot of people forgot how good he was playing on the Spurs like I always knew he was there but there were times where I just completely forgot about him and I mean realistically same thing with LaMarcus Aldridge like obviously when LaMarcus got traded and then he got hurt and he couldn't play because of his heart like there was that issue with him but the way I look at it is like a lot of people forgot how good he really was because honestly I feel bad for him because he got traded from like the rap the traded from the Raptors and then of course they won the title right after he leaves but I don't even be in this build here we're gonna go 17 15 10 and 17 is what we're gonna finish with guys I'm gonna go with this and when it comes to these takeovers again you can pick whatever you want I'm gonna give him finishing moves and easy blow buys though and for this build here we're gonna be getting a two-way scoring machine and for the shades of we're gonna be getting Jalen Brown RJ Barrett and Scotty Pippen we didn't get his name there I'm not too upset about it. I feel like this build is similar to how DeMar DeRozan plays, guys, and I'm really, really excited to watch how he does for the Bulls. Like, um, it'll be interesting, but guys, for these playmaking badges, I'm going to give him quick first step, bailout. Um, so I would go with Handles for Days and Space Creator. Um, now, either, what you could do is I'd probably put Handles for Days on Hall of Fame, and then if you don't want Space Creator, you could just go Ankle Breaker on Silver and go with that. Otherwise, go with Downhill. That would work, too. Um, you have a few options. But when it comes to these shooting badges, guys, I'm going to give him Deep Threes, Dead Eye, Corner, Catch, Circus threes. I would go with difficult shots and fade A's too. Again, these levels of these badges, you can kind of pick and choose what you like. Fit them towards your play style, but I'm going to go with these. Then for these finishing badges, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give them Posterizer on Hall of Fame. Um, I would use Putback Boss and Lab City Finisher on Bronze. Fearless Finisher here on Hall of Fame. Slithery Finisher on Silver. Acrobat on Silver. And the rest of these, you can again put wherever you want. This kind of, you know, personal preference. I'm going to go with Pro Touch here. And then for these defensive badges, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give him Chase an Artist and a Rim Protector so we're able to get the chase on animations. Those are really important to me. I would go with Clamps on Hall of Fame, Intimidator on Gold. Uh, you can use Rebound Chaser if you want, but I'm going to use Pogo Stick, Trapper, Off Ball Pest, all on Bronze, Rebound Chaser 2. Um, I'm going to use Box and Worm just on Bronze. And then the rest of these, again, you can kind of pick and choose what you want. It's, you know, your opinion. It's your build. So for the badges, again, fit them towards how you like to play. Everyone plays a little bit different. Like if you're playing more perimeter style, you know, you use more perimeter badges. More paint style, use more paint badges, guys. But this is how I feel like you guys can build DeMar DeRozan here in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more NBA 2K21 builds. But ending has got some banking clutch here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great yesterday and peace out, guys. Thanks.